What's up guys, ViperFV here, and today we are doing a review of the Newbie Drone B-Brain Brushless Quadcopter. And if you don't already know, this is a 1S whoop size quadcopter with brushless motors on it. Typically we fly those whoop size with brushed motors, so it doesn't have a lot of, um, a lot of pep. You know, brushed motors, they, brushless motors pretty much, you know, we have those on our 5 inches, 4 inch quads, and we can do tons of fun stuff with them, and they, and they, provide a lot more power and they're a lot more efficient opposed to the brush motors so what we're going to doing is we're going to go over the bench we're going to go over all the components and then we're going to um, fly this thing around i did have a lot of time with this one and i was able to get some really good fun times with it so i'll be showing that and then at the end i'll give you guys my thoughts so let's go ahead and uh get with the review if you were to purchase this, this is exactly what you'll get. You'll get this little case for the Newbie Drone Acrobee B Brain Brushless. Um, it comes in this case right here. It does not come with any batteries or any extra props, so you'll have to buy those separately. Um, so you get the quadcopter, just like that, already fully assembled. And you won't get any batteries, but what I will recommend if you're picking up batteries for this is to pick up these Nitro Nectar Gold HV batteries. These actually do make a world of difference. Uh, these just can't handle the amp draw. So these are good for your brushed quadcopter, the Nitro Nectars, but not so great for the b brain Brushless. So if I was to pick up a new one, like I said, I'll pick up some of these new batteries right here. And besides the case, you get the quadcopter itself. So it does have the... B brain eye camera that has been standard, I believe, in all the newer um, newbie drone products. Uh, nothing's updated there, but we do have these nice brushed motors. These are newbie drone 0802 18,000 kV motors. So they did actually lower it down from the 20,000 from the beta version I had, and it does make a world of a difference, like I said before. And now we have our receiver, and you can put pretty much any type of receiver you want in there. Uh, let me zoom in so you guys can get a better look here. So you also do get a receiver of your choice to put in this. You can either do the Free Sky, Fly Sky, or even Crossfire receivers if you want. It does have a PH 2.0 connector on the back, just to how the batteries are. Um, I have seen some people uh, remove this and then put a different, I think it was the Beta one, and it actually would actually help with some flat time which you could do, but then you're going to have to change all these batteries if you do pick these up, unless you go with those batteries. Um, you have the props here. They're pretty much standard props and all the motors. And then we just have this one single board down there, and that is your VTX flight controller and pretty much your ESCs. So that's actually really impressive what they did, though, from Newbie Drone designing this. As you can see, the linear antenna is coming right down there into the flight controller board or... VTX, whatever board you want to call this, pretty much all on one board, if you want to say. Um, but that's pretty much it for it. It does have the goober canopy on top, which does make it look pretty cool. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, do some flights, and then I'll give you guys my thoughts at the end. So I'm back, and I want to give you guys my thoughts on pretty much the what the quadcopter is all about. So it definitely is better than the version I had prior, the beta version. Um, they did make some nice updates to the motors. Um, they did go down to, I believe they're 18,000 kV motors, opposed to the 20,000 I did have. And I think that does definitely help with the efficiency. Um, you're able to get around 2.5 minutes to maybe 3 minutes 
Um, it really depends on how you're flying. If you're flying it really, really easy, you might be able to go over three minutes. But if you're doing like a racing situation like I was, um, you and you're really pushing it, you probably are more likely to get around two and a half minutes. Um, so that's the efficiency part of it. Now, is it a really fun quadcopter to fly? It definitely is. It's fun to fly around your house, especially if it's raining outside or, you know, maybe it's snowing or it's just too cold and you just want to fly something. Um, this thing is more than capable and it's actually pretty fun and it's safe to do so around children along with around pets and everything else because you don't have to worry about the blades hitting anybody. Um, just be careful though that no one with long hair gets this thing stuck in the hair because that can happen. So just be careful of that. Um, now things that I don't really care much for it. Um, it definitely is lacking in power. Um, in acro mode, you can, you know, a five inch quad, you can do flips, rolls, and not really worry about falling to the ground or hitting anything. This, you still have that, I mean, brush, the brushed ones, definitely, you couldn't do flips or rolls with them and even really fly it in acro mode very much at all um, because it's just, it didn't have enough power. You know, it couldn't keep itself elevated in, in a level. Um, you know, you do a, a little flip and then it'll just go hit right down because it can't catch itself on the reverse end. Um, this definitely, you can do flips and rolls with it, not to the degree like you can with like a five inch, uh, with that much, you know, losing elevation. Um, but really where it, it excels is in angle mode, doing races inside. I think that thing, this thing is definitely fast and it's actually faster than you probably need in the house. Um, but that's pretty much it on the quadcopter. Um, I really do like it. Um, I'll be definitely keeping it since I can go ahead and race it around the house and we have a little track uh, we had set up. So um, let me know what you think of it. Have you picked up a newbie drum bee brain brushless or even the, uh, I believe there's a silverware version as well. Um, have you had any of those and do you like them? Um, or are you looking to buy one of these and this video help you out? Let me know down in the comment section down below and uh, I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.